let's find out. Wait. How did she figure that out? Alright. Okay. One down, one to go. Gotta get to it. So his is probably there. There we go. A key. Another postcard. Honey, I miss you a lot. I really hope you can join me soon. You would love it here. The weather is great. The sun is shining. The lake is beautiful. The people are nice. Nice and dead. All of them. Love, F. What a great postcard. Got another mirror. Oh, looks like we're going into it. Isn't this where she fell? Not going that way. Oh shit. I always have to hold the breath or just be Caesar. It's like a drought. Just let me try. Oh god. Let me leave you I don't know how he didn't see her there. Oh shit. Not that tasty, I swear. He's talking about sadness. Oh god. Those parts are kind of a. Uh, Kind of nerve wracking. That woman was here. Well, it fucking tense up. Oh. She was a ballerina? Cool. This room has Guy written all over it in big sloppy letters. Yeah. 
nice card. Was Vivian one of your stars? Eugene Denisek, the impresario of stars. Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. I need to be alone. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. All right. There. That's her room. Spying on her. I couldn't even let her have her privacy. Fucking perv. That name, it's everywhere. But that wasn't the real you. Yeah. This wasn't her room. I'm guessing her managers? Suits and the cards are probably a giveaway. Okay. Um, let's check out the real blah, reality first. was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. I mean, the numbers are right there. She's probably talking about the one that's like scribbled. Oh, I need something for this? Okay. What the hell do I need? Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. Bunch of numbers, oh. I say. but I sensed there was a lot more to them. There we go. Neva Resorts, Mum, and George's house. Whatever hell the other one is. Oh, she's gonna call it. The fuck? Oh my God, Ellie! I thought you were. No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. <laughs> Fucking slippery weasel. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. Hmm. It's called George. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Nope. Let's call mommy. Yes. Yes, mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Yeah, it's Vivienne. That was her given name. But not the real one. Well, oh, take it she hated her husband. She hated her mom. Hello? Yes, this is Vivian. Room 347? I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smell vodka on his breath. He... What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Like, oh, you know what? That's the boss. All right. Let's 
that's a headband. Ellie and Tori. You called the other one Ellie when you were talking on the phone, so... Tori, it's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. All right, Tori, short for Victoria. <laughs> I wonder, did that other door lead anywhere in this world? There is a pathway. This is where it happened. Ah, uh, the face, of course. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. I assume we're gonna go in that. Ooh. Yep, all right, we're just back here. Go back across here and give, um, I'm not gonna lie. her face I'm back. Putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. I could see that, you know? Helping spirits out. Sending them on. I totally forgot where I was going. I mean, I know where I'm going, I just don't remember how the fuck I got there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was through here. You can be free now. Please. Be Thank free. You. Path is clear. Oh. Anywhere is better than here. Now you just let me pick you up already. Oh, into the mirror. Mr. Rekowitz, it is being unreasonable to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, there's poor Mr. Tar Tarkowski to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps to herself mostly. Likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full of conversations, and I swear it sounds like two people talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. I think he's they're probably talking about sadness. Yes. Fucking finally. Fucking finally. Time to get back to the day room. This place. This is where it started. That is a lot of blood. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Oh, well, she Are sounds crazy. Even a speck of you left. 
I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. Jesus Christ. It's still the question. Why did it go to the nurse first? Probably because she got rejected. Still here, just chilling and watching? All for sure. Lurk away. Enjoy. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. My poor, poor Mr. Tchaikovsky. Whatever happened to you? The test came back, no signs of any brain trauma or dementia. And still, I look into your sad, empty eyes, and I have this awful feeling like there's no one looking back. Don't worry, my love. I'll take care of you no matter what. I'll make sure you're as happy as can be. 450 milligrams of Venlec vaccine. That'll cheer you right up. Okay. Anything else in here? Um, nope. All right. Now, stay room on this wall, probably this hallway, I mean. Now break this first. Hmm. Like how it just fucking dissolves. I love you, bolt cutter. Really? I don't know about that one. Like in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. By name it is. See what sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. Hopefully. Wait, did I ever look at this one? I did not. Family time, holidays in the country. Ooh, I missed this. I keep seeing it in my dreams the other place. Dust and death, as far as the eye can see. I wake up choking. Or, sorry, I, mean, I, sk I skipped a line. Feeling of nothingness tearing at my soul. I wake up choking. Feeling the dust burning through my lungs. I beg for it to stop. He says there's no helping it. Then again, he would say that, wouldn't he? Where the hell is he? Break, damn it. All right. Here we go. How was that? Oh, oh joy.
thank God. You were right. I was so worried. Oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? I'm aching from shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? Stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. <laughs> no, no. It it'll eat you too. It just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. How the hell has she escaped her for this entire time now? don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. It, it's don't okay. Tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. The sadness. No, never again. Why did you bring me here? Huh. It was then Interesting. I realized there was something she wanted me to see. With my own eyes. Slice the flesh. Rotate. Damn it. There we go. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but. She's a oh, liar. Right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what Sadness said? Oh, so Richard's that guy. Okay. A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. All right. Became a habit. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the themes he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. We started out as an innocent exercise in imagination, ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching fur uh, furiously as he described the indescribable. 
For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress. But finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty, rather than madness. Complete. Alright, so I need something for that. <clears throat> oh shit, what am I doing? I don't have power. No, get back. Another letter. Thomas, I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination, mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind would weave, the way he described them with every minute detail. It was as if he had actually witnessed all of it, as if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him to peek behind the edges of our reality. An angel, a demon, is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me as his visions came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to feel my waning creativity, but how could I not? To let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration go to waste, that would be an unforgivable sin. Combine? Yes. Alright, looks like there's another piece. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? Her imaginary ones. It's been a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter, that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field. And so he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first, I was rather skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere competence. But deep inside, I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. Okay. Oh, I can't go in there, okay. It's blocked from the bottom. So many notes. I remember the first time I met him, working at a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man, wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder, like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising, but what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him, but it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that, despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. The other piece of sheet music has to be around here. Maybe it was in the room and I just missed it. Mm. 
Missing the globe thing too. There's a seven above it. Anything on these chairs? Nope. I might miss something out here. Nah, there's no way I missed something out here. did I miss? Don't you think what about all right? Unless there was something else back out here. That's what I thought. Oh boy. I don't fucking see anything. Go out there. I don't see anything that was missed though. There's nothing else like shining. can't go through them because I don't have any power to ward them off. Well, great. Maybe I should look at the bottom screen. I keep looking at the top. But the top's what's gonna help me. It's, it should.
god. What am I missing? I need something for this. Reality Globe doesn't want shit. This we can't go through. She's blocked down there. I feel like it would be here, but there's nothing here. I'm supposed to like go through this without power. Can't be right though. I have no idea why the hell I got that trophy for. be a key. I looked in this. Nothing falls out. There's nothing behind it. I'm pretty sure she can't spin this thing. Nope. That doesn't do anything. That's the focal point of the room is the damn globe. I swear, I'm gonna stumble across it and I'm gonna be like, dude, come on. Alright, well. I could try going through here. She's gonna die though. Yep. That's not the option. Hopefully I have to recollect all that crap. Uh, I think I do. Well, maybe now I'll see what I fucking missed.
Richard? Ba -ba -ba. Are you there? Just look at all this shit again. Get up. There's that. Skip. Rage. Okay. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. I totally forgot it. I had an ability where I can go out of the reality form. I just remembered that. So I don't need a freaking key. Well, let me just pick up the rest of these notes real quick. Alright, there was another one. It's back here. It was back here. I totally forgot about this power. Oh, there's the globe. Um, I don't see shit for her. Face, I get it. Okay. That was not what I meant to do. Why is that one going up? Got it. Can't believe I forgot I had that ability. Just wasting time. Right, here's the piano. Oh no, I had it. I lost it. Come on. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Uh, at least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're... special. A voice. Is that what that is? Sadness? Probably. Ugh. 
Get the key. Are we now gonna look at the picture? Nope, okay. I really wish cutting the flesh was so much faster. It's so slow. I get it. Maybe they're trying to make it like, oh, it's creepy. Like, oh, no, flesh. But it's not. Actually, you know what? I didn't even grab this, did I? I know what, it's gonna be too weak. That's what I need the music for. The music sheet is probably behind the door. Richard, you were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. them all right more recollections oh my god I hate these things so that's how you found him? yes he was just lying there he uh, Mr. Reckon I'm sorry he was a friend I just uh, Need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he deserved it. Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking, both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he was found true happiness, true love. Strong and pure. Well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Neva, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted, even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us. I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I ever had. Oh no, we already looked at that. Back to the piano. just for that. Nothing there. It's going to be another recollection. Richard, 
My arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Okay. Okay, I was finished. They had to let me go. Me, Richard Tarkowski, whose works were recognized across the continent, whose imagination, as they said, knew no bounds, whose very name became synonymous with a fine art. All that meant nothing to the soulless bureaucrats. To them, I was just a liability, the source of dangerous liberal ideas. I felt betrayed, empty. I needed to get out, away from the hollow sickness of the city. But most of all, I needed a friend. And so, I sought him out. I knew his wife had died some months earlier. At the time, I thought it would be best not to interfere with his grieving. And so, now I fear that he'd hold it against me for not being there when he needed me the most. Instead, he offered me a home. Um, I would assume we're going outside, but she can't get out there. Oh, you know what? There's a scene over here now. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here. I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, yeah, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. Huh. What did you do, Richard? What have you done? Spooky wheelchair. Sit, come, sit. The child eater. God fucking damn it. So angry. What? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. 
You are what? Fuck. All right, well, clearly he talks to people too. decided to let me out of my cage and only when you need my help surprise surprise hey, you know what I'm not in the mood just tell me what you see come on come on I can feel it okay it's around here somewhere oh well, real fucking specific Hey, I'm trying to help here. What? You know, sometimes I wonder. Oh. Oh, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these. Screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? Where? 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 What? A painting. Building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? Like he's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? He couldn't have known it. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. Bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, tiger. Just remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Well then, interesting. Oh, there's still more. Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, Bren? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I am trying. 
trusted her too many times. Did you do it? I... I don't. I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me I didn't hurt you, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Richard's freaking I out. Let you go. I, it wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's this thing inside of me. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. You have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. No one should see. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear, I'll go away. You'll never... Wait, what are you... No, let me out. Let me out. Let me in. 